Professor Dawkins. Um, can I just take up the, uh, the point about panspermia and, and Leslie Alden and uh, Francis Crick? Um, my understanding is that uh, spectroscopic studies have identified an awful lot of organic molecules out there in space. I'm not sure what I mean by that, but I think you do. Um, what, what conclusions, I mean, can we draw any conclusions from that, except there's some chemistry going on out there, or are these molecules residues of chemistry that's gone on somewhere else? I don't have a feel for what it actually might mean. I'm trying not to read anything into it. Y like yes, I, I, I think I, if you mean can we draw the conclusion that the, this is the, is the residue of extinct life forms or something, I d unfortunately we can't do, do that. Yeah. I think what it means is that it's rather easier to make organic chemicals in the universe than perhaps had once been thought. And it had once been thought perhaps that, that even the making of organic chemistry on this planet was a rather rare event. Now from, at, from analysis of actually not, not just spectroscopic but also uh, meteorites, um, that there, there, there's a lot of organic chemistry about. Or organic chemistry simply meaning the chemistry of carbon. So there, there's a lot of carbon chemistry. And that means that when we're talking about the primeval soup on this planet, which is, which is a soup in which there are, or in which there are postulated to be, organic chemicals, that becomes an easy thing to postulate because there are organic chemicals all over the universe. It still remains difficult to postulate the origin of life, which is the origin of the first self-replicating uh, molecule, but at least we've got a lot of organic chemistry, so the, the finding you're talking about um, makes, it a, a, makes the problem a bit easier.